Hello guys, welcome to my channel and to the start of a little series of Christmas DIY videos that I have planned for the next weeks. In today's video, I will show you how to paint the five easiest DIY watercolor Christmas cards that I could find on the internet, or to be precise, on Pinterest. I made a Christmas card video last year too, so if you're looking for more inspiration, definitely check that out later. I know that watercolors can be a little intimidating, but I think it can't get any easier and quicker than what I have prepared for you. I think these ideas might also be great for making cards with kids. Maybe you have to help a little here and there, depending on their age and if they already know how to write and use watercolors without eating them, but in general these are absolutely fine for a nice and easy Christmas DIY session. However, if you have any ideas for even easier watercolor Christmas cards, except for the easiest option going to the store and buying some, let me know in the comments down below. Let's start with the first card, which is, in my opinion, the most difficult one. And when I say the most difficult one, it is still very easy. So if you've mastered this card, you can absolutely master all of the cards in this video. First of all, you will need a card to paint on and please make sure that the paper you choose can handle watercolors, meaning the thicker the paper, the better. I'm using cards made of 240 GSM cardstock, but you can of course use regular watercolor paper and cut it to size and fold it. Next, you will need some watercolors. I have a pretty big set here, but you don't need as many. In fact, if you have the primaries plus white and black, you're fine. You don't have to use the same colors as I do, just use what you have and do whatever you want. You will also need a pencil and a metallic marker, a stencil for circles or simply two round objects and sizes you like, as well as a watercolor brush. Start by tracing your object or using the stencil to draw a bigger circle in the bottom right area and a smaller circle in the top left area. Don't place them too high, we need a little bit of space above them in a second. Also, don't press too hard with your pencil because otherwise it will be a little hard to erase the lines and you would still see them after you've applied watercolors. Now add a little rectangle and an intersecting circle on top of each ornament. The ornaments are not randomly flowing through space, therefore turn your card sideways and write Mary above one and Christmas above the other ornament. You don't have to write in a perfect calligraphy style of font, just make sure that the individual letters are connected. Then connect the words to the ornament and to the top edge of the card. Now choose a color that you like and paint the first ornament. Since we're working with watercolors, I would recommend to secure the card with paper clips or washi tape so the top lays flat and the paint doesn't spread all over the card. After you have filled the whole circle and while the paint is still very wet, dry your paintbrush with a paper towel and lift off some of the paint to create a highlight. Try to follow the curve of the ornament and do something like a quarter circle. And then follow the same steps for the second ornament. When the paint is completely dry, use the metallic marker to fill in the rectangles and trace all of the lines. And you're done with your first card. For the second card, you will need some washi tape, a fine liner, and this is optional, a ruler. Start by drawing three triangles to indicate Christmas tree shapes. You can absolutely freehand them, but I prefer to use a ruler. Use an eraser to make the lines a little lighter. Now take the washi tape and tape off the edges of your trees. Depending on how closely you have placed them, you might have to tape the middle one first, paint it, let it dry and then do the other ones afterwards. Also definitely test the washi tape and paper combination before painting the final artwork. Some washi tape is very sticky and will rip your paper. 
wet the tree section with a damp brush and then add any colors you like. You can use one color or two or five or whatever you like, just keep in mind that complementary colors turn into muddy brown if you mix them. Let everything dry and then carefully peel off the washi tape. Repeat the same steps for the two remaining trees. You can either leave your trees as they are or take a fine liner and add some tree trunks or ornaments and other details. The third card is the most fun I would say and it's also one that you could use as a more general winter themed card. For this card you will also need a fine liner and you will need your fingers. Secure your card with a paper clip and then start painting your finger. Press it down onto the paper and carefully lift it up again without moving too much from left to right. Don't put too much paint on your finger because you might get unwanted paint splatters when lifting your finger off the paper. Repeat this for as many reindeer as you like, just leave a little space between the fingerprints for the details. Of course you can use more than one finger and create a whole family of different sized reindeer. When everything has dried, paint the reindeer noses by adding a red dot to every fingerprint and let everything dry again. Last but not least, take your fine liner and add the antlers and eyes as well as some nice details like a bow tie maybe. The next card is so easy. You don't even have to use watercolors. You could also use fine liners, markers, or just colored pencils. Start by drawing five pairs of little circles, leaving about an equal amount of space between the pairs, and then add some carrot noses. These are basically elongated triangle shapes with a rounded base. And the last step, add color, and that's it. You could, of course, add a phrase like Merry Christmas or something more general like Let it snow or Winter Wonderland in the bottom or so. And the last card is also super easy and super quick to paint. With pencil, write Merry Christmas or whatever you want in any style you want. Now take a fairly big brush and create a colored area of any shape you like on top and let it dry. You could also use more than one color here if you like. On dry, trace the words with a fine liner or a metallic marker. And the last step, take white watercolor and add little dots all over the area to create some snowflakes. And then let the paint dry. And you're done! I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments which of these cards you like most and subscribe for more art and DIYs if you haven't already. See you next time, bye guys!